Hello there everybody, it is me again, Embrix, with another LEGO video, and sadly again, I have forgotten to include my little title, 3 second card, but, eh, I'll live over it, but, I got so much done today. Now, uh, if you read the title, this is the result of 44 hours of packing, straight packing, and it's not, um, including breaks, like, Obviously, there's no way I could have just sat there and just done 44 hours straight. No, I'm talking about I do four hours in a row, then take a break. And I don't count the break. Then if I do another two hours, then take another break, that only counts as six hours. So, not counting my breaks, 44 hours within this past week. Um, because I just own so many Lego sets that, that that's uh, just what had to happen. So... I wanted to get that out of the way. Another thing I want to get out of the way, just uh, fresh at the uh, kind of start of, of this video, is that if I did not have plans for my YouTube channel, this would be, this would go a lot faster. And here's uh, what I mean by that: um, microfighters. Uh, like I in the move, what I would do is I'd keep the microfighter assembled, just stick it in the microfighter box and then tape it up. And by the way, I'm so glad that I'm a nut for boxes and collect Lego boxes. But anyway, yeah, I would have just kept like for the small stuff like brickheads and battle pack builds, I'd just stick them in the boxes and tape them up and uh, I think they would hold. For the bigger stuff, yeah, I'd take it apart into smaller sections but not completely demolish it. Now, the, you may ask, why are you not completely demolishing it? Well, uh, I still do have an explanation for that. On my channel, I do want speed builds, so it would be weird for speed build when I take it out and the thing's already mainly done and I just have to put one or two pieces on. No, it needs to be from just separated pieces, 100% separated, into the complete model. And that's why for my speed builds. And speaking of speed builds, by the way, I have to ask you guys uh, something for anyone who is actually watching this video. Okay, so a uh, common trend for LEGO YouTubers is they will do speed builds, but on a separate channel. And that's because a great many viewers who watch reviews and custom builds don't like to see speed builds because it's like, uh, like they think that something that they're interested in is going to pop up on the channel, but then it's just a speed build. And by the way, I personally don't watch speed builds often, you know, maybe like once in a while, but you know, uh, I don't watch speed builds like when i can't when i don't have headphones or earphones or anything and i can't make any noise and uh i can watch something you know like um in a hospital waiting room uh that happened to me like last year in an airport something like that you know uh then yeah i watch speed builds but uh yeah i personally don't watch them so i understand like right now no one's really is into my channel though you know in the future i hope that uh to get a couple more 10k is my goal and that is a uh, very low standards though my channel isn't the best one out there i will admit so yeah um it's just that um like i don't want hopefully in the future well i do want this hopefully in the future like my channel will grow but what i don't want is like for people who are interested in my channel because of my reviews and my mock buildings and then uh they get excited when like they see like in their subscription box the, box the little blue dot as i do when i see like just too good jane briggs super cloud erlin brothers new rock stars like all of them and then like they click on the video and then they realize it's something that doesn't interest uh, them at all for example if uh, I'm happy Jane Bricks has like quick bricks that's separate then I don't have to worry about it but for example if Jane Bricks like I saw the little blue dot I clicked it and then found out it was just a speed build that I had no use for so yeah that's just one thing that um I, I don't know like if it will bother you guys or not and that's why I'm completely handing it over to you guys and asking you in this video and when my uh, channel does grow let's say 10k will be the next spot holder and eh, maybe a bit less than that but I will ask again so that more people can hear it because uh, I imagine if my channel ever does grow then like they won't watch this past video i don't know just what i think they will more watch my present video so i plan to make another one of those anyway because uh i didn't want to bore you from just watching this basically reverse speed build and uh by the way this portion will be 13 minutes long i wanted to give you this commentary basically and then uh by the way there will be another speed or 
backwards speed build portion, which will be like three minutes long, where I won't do a voiceover. But anyway, I did want to give it to you for this longer 13, or to be precise, 12 minutes and 57 seconds um, portion of the uh, video. So uh, my channel is going to turn one year old. Yeah, Embrix will be on the internet for one year. Uh, on March 27th, 2019, my channel started, obviously, March 27th, 2018. The complication is I am going on a minor vacation, uh, and um, I will be gone from Friday, I believe, Friday or Saturday, for one week until the next Saturday. March 27th falls in on that Saturday, and I want to make a video uh, of, you know, commemorating my channel being a year old and I hope to do so every year so uh, here's my kind of plan with this I guess you could say so uh, yeah let's uh okay so my basic plan is I'm like I'm gonna push it off to the very very last minute on Saturday if we do leave on Saturday Saturday morning I will make the video and I will do something new I will schedule a premiere premiere is something new that YouTube introduced that allows me to kind of get a uh, like there will be something on my channel showing like oh tune in at this time and watch it uh the premiere of it it won't be live but you know like it will be a set time like it will be live but filmed in the past so here's how it goes i will make the video and instead of a regular upload where it's online okay it will have a time let's say seven o'clock let's say the video is 20 minutes long from 7 to 7.20, that will be the first showing. There's no way anyone could have watched it uh, ahead of your time except like me or people I shared with uh, before doing the premiere. So, and during the premiere, you can actually comment on the video while the video is playing, and I will be in that discussion also commenting. Um, I don't know if I can make it, what well, with uh, me going on vacation and all, you know, I don't know if I'll have time and all that, but hopefully I could drop by, and if I do drop by to... Let's see if anyone actually comments, and then I can comment back to them. Uh, it will probably only be for the first showing, so like 7 to 720, you know? And then after that, it will say premiered at and uh, stuff like that, not premiering now. You know how it says, like, live now? Now it says premiering now, and then after the first showing, it says premiered at, and then it shows the date instead of published at. So um, that's kind of the way uh, it's going to work. And, um, yeah... Okay, there's, I'm running out of things to say, I'm kind of solid now, but, um, I'm gonna talk about something real quickly that has, well, okay, uh, in 2018, I've started a Lego Ideas project, and then at the, at the beginning of 2018, which I will share with you guys soon, and then at the end of 2018, I started another Lego Ideas project, and these are very much in the works, once my channel hopefully gets popular, I will do a video telling people to vote on me, hopefully, and then, hopefully they will vote on me, and then hopefully it will become a Lego Ideas um, Lego set, so that's a lot of hope, so that's why I'm kind of holding off on showing anyone my Lego Ideas project right now, or projects anyway at the beginning of 2019 so yeah this year i've i've been thinking of making a uh, ebay business of buying and selling lego you know buying a set when the price is cheap aiming sets that you know will be of good value and then selling them i'm not going to go for exclusives because you know um me as a lego fan i hate that um th the sellers on ebay they take exclusives and just sell them, you know, like, um, it's just so mean, you know, uh, because as a Lego fan, I know, uh, how it feels to not be able to get an exclusive, for example, uh, Percival Graves, he's one for a box in the CMF Harry Potter series, the sellers, they just take them out, and that's it, so no, none of the collectors like me can get it, so I'm not gonna aim exclusives, only standard retail sets, that is my goal, and then, since, um, last month, maybe a bit before that, I've actually been thinking of, instead of an online business on eBay, because they do take a cut, shipping is pricey and stuff like that, so in the end, you don't end up making that much, and you'd have to wait a long time. I've been thinking of another business, which I'll share a little in the future, let's say two years from now, um, where I do a home business, so uh, basically one room where I sell Lego, you know, physically, but uh, I, it's just a bunch of things I'm thinking about, and um, by the way, I think I want to work at a Lego store, not definitely not my uh, permanent job, but you know, maybe part-time until I get through college, and then after college, uh, 
get a real job so that's just kind of my planning right now i guess for businesses i don't know why i bring it up probably just because i did not want to bore you guys to death anyway uh another thing that i'm kind of planning is a youtube channel purely about geek stuff i'm definitely a geek i will admit it so um yeah you know like new rockstars and super carlin brothers i want a channel like that you know uh lego will be its own thing for embrix and this channel will have like marvel theories marvel trailer breakdowns harry potter stuff uh, maybe some DC stuff, I don't know, I'm a Marvel guy, obviously, but, yeah, it will have DC stuff, Marvel stuff, Harry Potter stuff, Star Wars stuff, you know, all the geek topics like that, and that's, uh, what I hope to do, you know, covering news on trailer breakdowns, theories, uh, movie reviews, and I've done, like, a Captain Marvel movie review and stuff like that, so, yeah, you know, I think I, uh, it would be a lot of fun to do, actually, because it's something I'm definitely thinking about, and I do Pixar videos and stuff like that, which, by the way, is a huge geek topic, if you didn't know, search, uh, P uh Super Carlin Brothers Pixar to get into it, but, um, yeah, it's just another channel I'm thinking of making, hopefully. But it will probably be the same time when I get that part-time Lego job, which would probably be in around two years, I'd say. Maybe a bit earlier, maybe a bit later, I don't know. But uh, I think definitely not within a year. I think at least after one year. But, you know, the best guess is probably after two years. Because it is something that I eventually want to do, and I think I will enjoy a lot. But, you know, um, yeah, I think it would be fun and wouldn't detract from my uh, Lego YouTube channel. But, yeah, I could probably balance them both out. And who knows? I think that that one would be super fun. But I also like the Lego channel. So uh, it would just um, be fun to have both of them, you know, at the same time. Because I love Marvel, Star Wars, Harry Potter. I've read all the Harry Potter books, watched all the Star Wars movies. Last Jedi I've watched like four times in theaters. And then... Um, I've watched Avengers Infinity War four times in theaters, yeah, so it's definitely going to be a lot of fun, I have a bunch of theories on my own that I've shared with my friends, though I don't have a YouTube channel, so I haven't shared it with them, so tell me in the comments down below if you would like to see that from me, but definitely don't expect it within two years, I wonder like if that channel does happen, then people look back at this video and, you'll, and they'll be like, oh, this is when he was finding it, but yeah, um, the 13 minutes are coming to an end, but uh, so yeah, I'm going to uh, hand you over to just a bit more without my voice, and then a bit more with my voice, so yeah. Hey, so sorry if the voice is a bit off. Um, for this portion of the video, I'm not using uh, my mic, but there's my studio where the studio's light is set up, and I do a man building my chair right there, and then, you know, whatever I'm watching on my computer. And then, yeah, here are all the sets I've uh, gotten done. So here I got the Ziploc bags. Look at that. Look at that mountainous pile of boxes. Uh, none of them are taped, except, like, the Friends ones I did earlier. But so far, it's been... 43 hours of packing throughout this one week. One week? And not including breaks. No joke, not including breaks. 43 hours of packing. And to prove that, I've watched two movies just in one packing session, you know, watching it on the side while packing. And then those are my figures, which is like the first thing I had packed. Bunch of Star Wars sets in Jungle City. Yeah, like, look at that. You got ooh, some more Star Wars, Harry Potter, Hobbit sets. Bunch of big ones. Mm -hmm. and a bunch of empty spaces now on just kind of the tables. And then the reason I'm actually doing this video, and then there's just a mountain right there. The reason I'm actually doing this video is because I'm about to move a bunch of, uh, of the tables. So that is how... The whole thing looks. Maybe I could get a better camera angle. There we go. Yeah, it's a lot of sets to take in right there. All packed. And everything is a mess. So, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move some tables. Hey, so yeah, it's been like uh, two hours since the last, nine an hour and a half since the last time, uh, since like the last video segment. Obviously, for you, it's all in the same video, but. Um, 
yeah uh what you're about to see is a huge change those are books to help up my camera stand my studio nothing new but here i have the packaging but then look that's where my city used to be now i got all these sets lined up here including my city my whole lego city is really just lined up on these tables and then okay we'll go to that later but uh there you got the x-wing and then some other set related stuff a lot of stuff from fun at the park and fun at the beach which i've got to pack up all my pieces back there and then the wall of lego sets look at that just a slow view yeah let's just pan over that look at that that was so much hard work not only to build in the first place not only to take apart in the last place not only to review but also to earn the money to get all this and look at this and that's not even my whole collection yet yeah, it's it's very close can i fit the whole thing on camera i'm standing on my studio table and oh my god okay and whoa that's the whole wall look at that so many sets then i still got quickie mark the death star the x-wing lots of other stuff but wow yeah, so uh, I'm going to go back to taking apart some sets. Hey, so it's been uh, roughly two hours since the last video that will make it into, hopefully make it into this video that you're watching now, this, uh, this video of compiled videos of me, you know, doing a bunch of work every one to two hours and then doing a video on it. So, took out the trash, which was all just Lego set bags, and some stuff peeking out, um, added some more to my wall of Lego sets, for example, that frame, fun at the park, the Batman movie maker set, got the pieces right there empty boxes that that's just lego store bags filled to the brim in there 
Uh, the okay, I'll talk about that later in just a sec. Let's just give a spin around the room. Studio is looking a lot uh, more clean, I'd say. Nothing on the floor. I used to have a whole stack of books down here. Uh, if you can recall, it was in this video. Got to do a video on the Lego Movie Two Happy Meal toys, and that's something I'm still working on making instructions for my road mock from my city. Once I make instructions for that last road plate with the cards and everything, then it should be complete. So yeah, studio is definitely looking cleaner. Bunch of tables have been removed. The only three sets I haven't packed. Oh my god. I can't believe I've packed that many sets. It has been 44 hours. No breaks. Like, I took breaks, obviously. But, like, within the last week, 44 hours. Not counting the breaks is what I'm talking about. So, three sets left to pack. Quickie Mart. Uh, that one will be hard because bags build upon each other. That will be hard to rebuild. The X-Wing UCS, which would be even more hard to be rebuild, because it has like the same, if not more, parts. And it's so complex with a lot of little parts and Technic gears, unlike Cookie Mart. And then the Death Star. 5,000 pieces around that just build upon each other. That That is not going to be fun, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that is going to be hard. But yeah, three more sets to pack. Packing would be easy. Yeah, relatively easy. Uh... Yeah, so that's it for this video, and it's been a big packing update, and I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.